FPTP, how it works, used to elect MPs in general elections, is also used in AMS to elect constituency MSPS. Voters simply place an X beside the name of the candidate they choose. Person with most votes in each constituency is the winner and becomes the MP for that area. It does not matter if they get less than 50% votes. Even if a party comes second in many constituencies they do not gain an II representation. Winner takes all system. If you are not in power, you are the opposition. Labor Party. Paisley Ann. Renfrewshire North Result 2019-2047% SNP. Gavin Newlands 23,353. Labor. Allison Taylor 11,451 Conservative Julie Pirone 11, 217 22.6% Lib Dems, Ross Stalker 3, 661 23% 7.4% 2019 Result Analysis Conservatives came out stronger from this election, being able to form a majority government. Major blow to the Labour Party losing 7.8% of the vote share. Greens, SNP and the Brexit Party all gained support. Advantages of FPTP limits success of extremist parties e.g. UKIP. Dop. BNP creates a majority. Stronger government as they can pass laws easily by elections. Other parties may win the constituency. If a party isn't doing well the voters can change that. Stronger MP and voter relationship. Know who to go to. Hold accountable. Disadvantages of FPTP unfair for smaller parties. Support may be spread across the country and not in one constituency doesn't always a strong government. Coalitions minorities majority gov lack scrutiny and is less accountable, not proportional. Percent votes do not reflect the percent of seats. FPTP. Advantages fair representative. 1. Encourages stable government and usually generate an outright winner. Favors the two largest parties and gives an overall majority of seats to one party. 2010 coalition outcome is unusual under FPTP, with the large majority. The government can pass legislation based on policies which people voted for at the election. No compromise politics and as such reforms pushed through more easily. E.g. in the last 10 general elections only two have resulted in a hung parliament. FPTP. Advantages fair representative. 2. Closer relationship between constituent and representative MP. Constituents are favorable of FPTP as each constituency is represented by a single person thus allowing for much better representation than any PR system as not only do the constituents know who to raise concerns with but there is an increased accountability placed on the MP, meaning they will strive to do as good a job for their people as possible in order to keep their place in Westminster e.g. Dennis Skinner. Labour MP lost his seat. Bloss over constituency after being the MP for 49 years. He lost his seats to the Conservatives after voters were unhappy with Labour. FPTP. Advantages fair representative. 3. Keeps extremist parties from obtaining representation as only the person who wins the most votes in a constituency wins it is unlikely an extremist party will win many constituencies as they are unlikely to gain the most votes. They can come second many times but will not gain any seats. E.g. UKIP were predicted to be successful in 2015 but only secured 8% of the votes and gained only one seat. Under PR system for European payroll elections UKIP achieved 27.5% of the vote and 23 MEPs higher than Labour and Cons. FPTP. Disadvantages. Not so fair representative. 1. Doesn't always produce strong majority powerful governments. Under FPTP coalitions are supposed to be unlikely and is set up for one party to take the majority of seats in parliament but this did not happen recently. No one voted for a coalition so this is unfair is not representative of the way the population voted and it can make policy reform change difficult e.g. the 2010 coalition gov disagreed over major issues such as tuition fees and reforming the House of Lords and minority conservative. Government of 2017 failed to deliver Brexit. FPTP. Disadvantages. Not so fair representative. 2. Not proportional. The percent of votes a party secures is not proportional to the percent of seats they receive. This means some parties may only get a third of the votes but gain more than half the seats. Some parties may also gain high share of the votes but very few seats. Many believe this is undemocratic and is not what the majority of the public voted for e.g. Use info from 2017 and 2019 and compare those of similar percent votes to the seats they gained. AMS. How it works. It is a hybrid voting system of FPTP and the party list system. 
FPTP elects the 73 constituency MSPS party list elects the 7 regional MSPS from the 8 regions in Scotland. 56. In total there are 129 MSPS. AMS. Advantages representative fair point 1. More proportional there is a close correlation between the percent seats gained and the percent votes under the party list this means more voters views are represented and can be seen as a more democratic voting system as it is less likely a majority. Government will be formed. E.g. in 2011 the Conservatives gained 13% of the votes and 12% of the seats. Conservatives gained 36.9% of votes but 50.9% of the seats in 2015 under FPTP. AMS. Advantages representative fair. 2. Easier for smaller parties independents to get elected people are more likely to vote for a smaller party if they have two votes and can vote for a party rather than a candidate the top up element of the regional ballot means even if they get a small percent of votes they will still get something e.g. in 2016 Greens gained six seats using the regional ballot but only one Green in Westminster in 2019 and 2017 using FPTP. AMS. Advantages representative fair. 3. Creates coalitions minorities which encourage consensus. One party cannot force opinions on the people. Especially when they do not have over 50% of the vote in the past coalitions have been successful and many policies have been agreed on and passed. E.g. Lib Dem Labour Coalition in 1999 and 2003 worked well together. Passing laws such as the Smoking Ban 2006. AMS. Advantages representative fair. 4. Gives voters more choice voters get to vote twice two ballots. One for a constituency MSP and regional MSPS. Means a voter can vote for a party and a candidate that better reflects their preferences. Can vote for a candidate for one party through FPTP and for a different party in regional ballot. E.g. voters in Erskine can vote for constituency MSP Derek McKay who is SNP. But could vote for a totally different party in the regional ballot such as the Greens. Where Ross Greer was elected. AMS. Disadvantages. Not so fair representative. 1. Reduce link between voter and representative. The regional list MSPS are not directly elected by the voters so many feel they do no represent voters. They have no constituency so few voters actually know who they are. Having two different types of representative creates animosity between them. MSPS elected via the regional lists have been seen as having got in via the backdoor or second class members. E.g. Joanne Lamont was beaten in constituency vote in 2016 so obviously voters didn't want her yet was given a seat anyway on the regional list ballot. AMS. Disadvantages. Not so fair representative. 2. Coalition minority governments can be unstable not wanted the electorate never votes for a coalition or minority on their ballot paper this doesn't really represent voters wishes. This means they are not democratic. Can be much harder for laws to be pushed through if parties disagree on ideology and policies or if a party needs to seek the support of other parties to pass laws. E.g. in 2003 Lib Dems were asked by LAD to form a coalition gov yet they came forth. Alex Salmon struggled to pass many laws, like MOP, when they had a minority gov from 2007 to 2011. M's disadvantages, not so fair representative. 3. Smaller parties can hold too much power in the coalition. AMS allows for smaller parties who have very little support to have a large say in how the country is run and which laws are passed. Many feel this is undemocratic because smaller parties were not voted for in the numbers the second and third place parties were e.g. Lib Dems, in a coalition with Labour, helped pass free tuition and free care for the elderly but only held 15% of the total vote.